We've done it. I'm back in my account after a rough Monday morning. We are back at it. It's about 2.30 when I'm recording this. So you guys will probably see this around 4 or 5 when I first put it out. Shout out Epic Support for helping me get my account back. I was quite nervous. That wasn't going to happen. Nonetheless, let's talk about Pablo and Flames Swag. Pablo, Wingu, and Swag. Two players on Flames. These guys have an interesting play. I think they have been kind of like a solid middle of the pack team that has the ability to shoot up in tournaments to the top, right? They, they haven't necessarily been the best team in the lobby, but they're by no means like a bottom contender. They're consistently fighting for tournaments. Um, I think the one thing I'm looking for in this team is to make that next step to win tournaments. Uh, we haven't seen that yet, but hey, Invitational could be that moment. Also want to share a kind of like a clerical piece with you guys. This may be one of the last few VOD reviews. We may only get to 40 because a lot of teams I've found aren't playing together. And basically all of the games that I can VOD review have been played. So I get the Elite Weekly Cup from last weekend, aka Saturday. And then I get the two Elite Cups from the week before. The other replays are bugs. So I only get three tournaments to play with. People like Booga and Miro, I do I'll look to see if I can find anything else, but I haven't been able to find them. And Dukes and Clicks haven't been able to find that as well. And then obviously the teams that just legitimately aren't playing together, not going to be able to get them. So unfortunately, there's going to be teams like uh, Andalex, Bleed, Rapid, Kanata, those guys, as well as Hellfire, Falconer, um, who's another one. That might be it of like the mixes that I'm just not going to get to. All right, enough of that. Let's talk about Fortnite. Just wanted to kind of like throw all that clerical stuff at you guys because I know a lot of you watch these regularly and I hope you're appreciating them. So we have Pablo and Swag. These two are uh, hitting an interesting drop. They're in the Invitational landing here, likely, right? During this specific game, they took this, but uh, Quizo, Quizo. Queasy and Vino have claimed this specific building and said, don't come here if we don't want to fight that. And based on what those two are doing, I ain't fighting nothing near them. Stay away from me. So that's what's going on. Uh, we already kind of got an intro as to who these guys are, what's going on. I think it'll be a good spot listening. So I don't know a ton about this team, but I listened to Boop and Kinch. And Reese talk about what they expect from this team. And I think it is like a hit or miss, right? They're either going to do really well or based on the lobby, they're going to be really far away. They're not going to be able to get metal. The looting is going to be too slow. So there's like a number of things that could go wrong or go poorly or anything like that. But we'll see. I, I mean, I'm always more of a positive thinker just to think about how teams go. They're going to be able to get this vault. I think that's huge. Um, and I doubt Queasy and Vino fight for this. Like, it all depends on keys, too. You're not going to fight for something you can't even open. But anyway, this is a less stacked lobby, so they're going to be able to take advantage of going back here. In an actual FNCS Invitational game, I don't see them being able to move all the way back here. They're pretty much going to be able to loot this, maybe grab some extra loot down here, and then have to rotate. That is... 99% sure how that's going to play out. So, these guys chilling up here. And uh, we'll look at loadouts because I've done that almost every time. Evil Chrome, Hammer, Ranger, Prime. Yeah, pretty much what's been standard. I mean, we see the combination of the Hammer, Evo Chrome, and the combination of the Prime and the uh, Ranger shotguns. So, pretty standard. Flames, young boy. And now we're chilling, guys. There ain't really anything that goes on. I'm going to skip ahead because these guys are going to get zoned a couple of times and wind up being fairly similar to where we were before. And I waffled a lot in the beginning. So you guys don't need to hear me waffle. These guys are just going to sit here and get Storm Search tags. 
I, I think we've all seen this. They're doing nothing crazy. They've barely moved positions. Oh, someone threw a shield bubble at them to be able to rotate. Interesting. I haven't really seen that before. I still think shield bubbles aren't worth carrying. But you know, if you're full shambles and you need it, you're chilling. Alright, so these guys get zones. This is just good positioning earlier on. Making sure that they're able to be close to zones. Be in the center of zones. And it pays off, right? Oh, we're hitting a little pre-edit. Nada. Get it back. Pablo's still looking at it, making sure he's chilling. And all they're trying to do is, like, confirm their space. Ah, I don't know if we're going to be able to see this. I'll try and show you guys the best I can. So, we are right here. They're trying to, like, claim their space on the edge while everyone else is working in. That's a good example of it, right? Um, think of it as, like, a crowd trying to rush out of a stadium or something. Or, like... You know, it's recess and you're trying to get out of the class and everyone's funneling through the door. There's only so much space in that door and you kind of got to jockey for that position to get out and get to recess. And that's what these guys are trying to do. They're trying to get to recess, put themselves in a spot where they can uh, make this rotation and stay alive. I, I say rotation, but like fifth zone rotation, right? They're trying to hold their ground is what it is. It's like a stampede of buffalo coming at you. Except I wouldn't fight a stampede of buffalo. My uh, my metaphors aren't on point today. Nonetheless, these guys just chilling, looking for more surge. This isn't a super stacked game, so haven't really had to worry about it here. And I like them investing. They go up a little bit when they realize what's going on. And this is a smart play to get themselves up. And you guys may ask, why is this a smart play? Well, I'm going to tell you. So, we see they were in these boxes down here below. And instead of just staying in all this congestion, they're going to put themselves a little higher. So, they have some free space to work with. And it's going to allow them to just really have that flexibility to throw down a pad, reuse a pad. All, all that good stuff. And now we see next zone's gonna pull. Beautiful. I like them not having to leave their box. Always a big fan of doing this. Smart. Great recognition. Even look further ahead of you and get rid of that. These guys gonna chill up in the air. Would not be surprised if they double dip. You also do have to be careful double dipping. If you do it too late, you're just gonna get beamed. And if you don't have like enough protection on what you're dipping on, you're gonna get beamed as well. This is not the greatest rotate for these two. They're a few boxes away, both spending materials. Not that it's the worst thing in the world, but you would expect off of a launch pad, a team lands together. Especially when we just saw Swag use a bunch of those splashes. But they're chilling. They're going to get themselves in. Looks like my man's Pablo. Pretty solid with uh, our tarps. Now we're going to pad again. Like to see that. Looks like we're double dipping this one again. So dipping lots of pads. You could do this when you get all these splashes. Still a ton of splashes on them. You can't do that if you don't have whites. But that's the key. Oh, watch out. Okay. Oh, if swag's right there, that's an elim. But they're not going to give this one up. They're still on it. Paolo's like, yo, yo, careful. There's, there's somebody above you. Splash up your boy. Share the love. Pablo going to get back to it. Nice little layer change. Oh, looking clean. Okay. Oh, just a couple HP off getting that elim. This guy protects himself. Nice little rotate from that dude. 
Pablo's like, all right, let's check what's going on here. Oh, we got a player coming. That could have been their refresh. Oh, we missed it. Good recognition from Pablo not to overcommit to that. His duo. Swag right with him. Nice job of both of them sticking with the play. And they're chilling, right? Even though we haven't gotten a ton of elims, we've gotten one refresh. And we've been able to save a bunch of mats by just double dipping those pads. Right? So if we look between the two of them, 90 mats, still a ton of ammo, tons of heals. If I'm Pablo, you know, maybe drop your boy a little, uh, little heals so he's got something besides that big. But other than that, you can't really complain. Now they are second height, so they either have to make a play here. Or we're going to have to just give this up. And go down lower. And it looks like fighting for this height position is the play. Oh, what a shot. Dude just comes right into the line of fire. Takes it to the face. Quick crank. Pablo's like, yo, we're on height now, boy. Thanks, dog. And that's what happens, you know. When you're on high ground, if you ain't fully aware, able to defend it. Also, that's what the Ranger shotgun's huge for, those distance shots. Definitely by far the most damage you can get at a distance with a shotgun. And then these guys just have almost max AR ammo because they really haven't used much and they're just going to fry. So, good luck to everybody else in this lobby. It's not like these guys really need to do anything. And looks like both of those got taken from them. So, they don't get the elim, but they're going to get the placement. This is huge. This isn't just knowing how to finish out a game on height. And I would expect most of our teams in this lobby could finish out a game on height. There'll be some that do it better than others. And I'm sure we've seen that throughout these VODs. Like, this is a fairly good team doing this. They've run out of mats. Swag goes and fights for it. Pablo's like, dude, I got one build left. What do I do here? It's like, yo, you got to make a play on height. Oh, no, we're going underneath. Oh, down we go. But not bad. Solid game from them. I mean, They did run out of the materials pretty fast. Would have wanted to see them try and get a refresh or play for a refresh. Nonetheless, solid game from them. I expect them to do pretty well. Not a... Not a million points, but a good amount. Solid, solid team. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.